We're in the garage today and we're gonna test out the Mala Tech Pro. This is the VCI and it can be connected either USB or Bluetooth. We have a 2013 Chevrolet Volt back here that we're gonna connect and uh, find out why the mill is on. So let's check, check it out. I'll plug this guy in and we've got to power up. And I'll get those lights off. And we need to start the application. Tech Pro. And once the app starts, then we need to click Diagnose and it's going to attempt connection and we're connected. Uh, the next thing that's kind of nice is that this has a customer report that will do a vehicle-wide DTC search and pull all the uh, Mode 6 information. So let's just put my name in here. And uh, put the mileage in and we'll click Start. And this will take a minute or so <clears throat> as it discovers all the modules on the vehicle. And then once it identifies them all, uh, it'll go ahead and run a scan. Uh, it may ask us for identification on uh, one of the modules here. Okay, parking assist control. I'm gonna guess it's the, the top one. Uh, I have found that uh, on certain vehicles, if you don't get this identification right, and it goes to hit that module or query that module, it may set up an error. Uh, so you may have to come back and reselect this. So I'm going to select that top one, let it continue. Another thing about the app, it's kind of nice. It gives you the battery voltage down here live. Okay, and so it's identified one DTC in the, uh, let's see, in the engine control module, it says hybrid powertrain control module two requested the mill. And the mill was requested because of a P0 Delta three echo uh, battery charger input voltage sensor performance. So. I have a little background on that and I'll share that with you here in just a second, but uh, we're gonna demonstrate how the tool produces data. So it loads it up in a web browser and I have Chrome set up as the, uh, as the primary. And so you can, you can expand that out a little bit and scroll through the page. Look at all the uh, mode six data. And then the second page has the DTC information. So at this case, I, normally what I would do is just hit print, and I've got this printer set up to actually just save to my Google Drive, which is kind of nice. If you've got an internet connection, that makes it uh, nice because then you can put it out there in the cloud, and uh, I, I see it's trying to save it to my computer. So let's go cancel, and we'll change this to Google Drive, okay. So once we hit save, it's gonna save it to my Google Drive so I can gain access to that later on. Okay, so let's go back to the tool. And um, we're gonna go back to the module diagnostics, okay? And this shows me all the modules on the vehicle. Uh, this one has a DTC in it. This one also has a DTC. So this is the one where the main DTC exists. And we'll look at that code in more depth. And this is where you can gain access to repair information. The tool will let you set up credentials to take you into the service information resource that you like to use. Uh, so the options are Identifix, Mitchell, All Data, Chilton, and Haynes. And in this case, I have Identifix. So we'll just click Identifix. And again, provided you've got a web connection, it's gonna take you into Identifix. And you'll see that the vehicle has already been uh, inputted along with the DTC. And you'll see the search results here are presented. I have um, four PI docs or preliminary information documents. And I also have a, uh, you know, a service bulletin. And then all, the, all of the uh, uh, DTC troubleshooting information is here. And you know, it tells you what to do, uh, what to check out. Uh, has all the uh, 
references to wiring diagrams and so on. Uh, but what I wanted to point out here is that you have all of the uh, several, the, the basic iterations of the preliminary information document, which is kind of nice because it gives you kind of a, a high level view of where GM was first hit with this particular complaint and how they started addressing it. And then ultimately what they did to uh, resolve the, the problem. And so let's expand this out a little bit here. So this is talking about, again, the, this particular DTC setting. And uh, basically what's happening is that some of the new charging stations out there don't have the timing mechanism set up right to properly handshake with the vehicle and it will falsely set this DTC and it'll actually disable charging until you go back in the car, kind of you know, set it up, maybe reset the uh, charger and then and, and reinitialize. Well, they've come up with a new software calibration package uh, to, to address that issue. So let's go back to the tool. And uh, here we can clear the DTCs. And they're cleared. And we can go back here and go back one more time. We'll go back into this module here, check for DTCs, and now there are none present. So that one instance of clearing cleared them all. Uh, you can also look at data. So if you want to take a look at uh, data display, so we're looking at the ECM here. And uh, this is, of course, the engine's not running. Uh, we just have the, the power on. But here's your data list. You can pull up different lists. You can create a custom data list. So if we're, I was looking at uh, hybrid engine data and I wanted to save uh, or pull up a couple of these things here. I've got those two things and uh, maybe one more. And then you can go to say multigraph and uh, start looking at the data. Um, maybe I want a different list. Uh, we'll go to maybe air conditioning and cooling. And you can see that we still have the uh, hybrid electronic coolant temperature uh, module temp. Uh, let's look and see what else we have down here we can take a look at. Got a number of things running there. So let's go back. Let's go into another module and take a look at the uh, battery. Let's see. I think it's the battery energy control module, data display. And let's see if we, we have EV battery cell data. Okay. Yeah, and there are all the voltages for the, uh, for the batteries. So maybe you wanted to pull up a couple of these. There's temperature in a particular module. And, uh, and again, go to graph, multi-graph. And here we're looking at data. So we'll go back and do one more, uh, ch check one more module here. Uh, let's look at, uh, Steering wheel angle sensor control module. Let's see if we have any data in there. Oh, that's just module info. Go back. Suspension control, no telematics. How about power steering? Let's look at the power steering real quick here. And yeah, it looks like a steering wheel input torque. Okay, so this will be a good demo. We can steering wheel angle, and um, uh, that's basically, we'll just look at those two things here. And so we can see those on the graph, and I'll go turn the wheel, kind of see what we end up with. I'll turn it right to lock, and then I'll turn it back left, and then back to center again. All right. Okay, so you can see that. You can hit pause if you want to take a look at that, maybe do a screenshot of it, uh, you know, to save a copy for your customer or what have you. So anyways, uh, that is a look at the uh, Mala Tech Pro. And uh, this will soon be out on the market. 
And I hear that you'll be able to get it through uh, Napa stores uh, coming up real soon. So I, um, I welcome your feedback on this and uh, let me know how, that, uh, how this is working out for you. So thanks for watching.